When you hear the words, your body is a forest, a certain image springs to your mind. Your forest might be an oasis of waterfalls and free-flowing streams. It might be densely vegetated with exotic flowers erupting from the earth. It could have just a few tall trees made beautifully with the intricacy of their patterned leaves. The forest in your mind's eye is yours to nourish and tend as you please. While I'm very tall, I'm 1.8 meters tall, um, I'm very thin, I'm not skinny, and um, I love my clavicle, and I'm dark-skinned, and yeah, that's how I can describe my body. I have big boobs, small booty, and sharp facial structures, yeah. My body is brown, a nice dark brown. It's nice and soft. Pudgy in all the right places. I have a little young kaba, a young tummy that I like to play drums on, and I kind of love it a bit. Um, it's short, but not too short. It's uh, it's my body, man. It's 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 just the right body for me. I mean, obviously, I've had moments where I've questioned if I should have been taller, I should have been skinnier, should I have been lighter. Um, I've got back rolls, asymmetrical boobs, a wide tummy, thunder thighs, and lovely legs. Oh, you've got to have big boobs, but not too big. Big butt, but not too big. Um, obviously, European facial structures is sharp nose, bone structure have to be on point. You have to be tall, but not too tall. And face skinned, light skinned. Yeah. I'm always made fun of because I was not thick. I was not big. I, I looked like someone. Once said, you look like someone who's sick um, in grade eight. Um, I had an incident where we had a presentation of this HIV, you know, presentation, sex, sex, and aftermath. And then someone in class was like, oh, that looks like the seeps. And I was like, Um, I was bullied from the age of six because I've always been a chubby child. Um, my mom has always told me to lose weight, so I started dieting at around the age of seven. Got my first exercise machine when I was like eight-ish. Um, yeah, so I've never thought of I was enough. So because of that, I've always felt like I've, I would have to overcompensate by being really friendly to people, even if they don't treat me right. Um, I'd blame myself if friendships ended because um, I would think it was because of me and because I'm fat and not of anything else. You know, if you fall in between a, a beauty standard or in between beauty standards, most of the time, you know, we've been led to have insecurities according to how we feel or how we look. And if you don't belong to either or, and you don't have the right kinky hair, you don't have the right dark skin, you don't have the right thick, you know, and you're just somewhere in between, lost in a limbo. Sometimes society has kind of led us to believe that we're ugly if you don't look a specific way. And I guess that could influence a lot of ways that we view ourselves. But also, I'm arrogant enough to kind of like not give a care about certain beauty standards. But I also realize that sometimes you kind of get into situations or, uh, um, situations or um, moments where, you know, stuck in, a, in an area where people view beauty in a specific way, you're made to feel ugly about the way that you look. You know when they say, oh, no, someone's fat and then immediately an overweight person would be like wow that hurts but it's not the same for skinny people I don't know skinny shaming is kind of hurtful because that's why I don't want to be called skinny I just call me thin or call me anything else but skinny but as thin women we do have a privilege that I won't deny we are seen as models we are seen as Victoria's Secret girls these I don't know these I can't say coat hangers you know how models you know you can fit anything into them we have this advantage over 
big people that you know they 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 not we not we are very much in media in every way we seen as attractive so i don't know it puts me at a, an advantage i would say Ooh, my legs i love my legs <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry i like being black i like being I don't know if I'm thick, but I, I like my body. I like my skin color. I like how I look naked in the mirror. I like how I look clothed. I like how I look in lingerie as well. I just love how I look. Is it, I, I think it could be arrogance, but I'm not sure yet. But I really, 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 really love myself at this point. It's really ridiculous, honestly. Every time I embrace my clavicle, if anything, please, Lord, let me not lose my clavicle. Oh, my legs. I love my legs. I really can't wait for summer so I can start wearing shorts again. Um, yeah, even my thighs. I don't care for my thunder thighs. I'm not everyone's type of beautiful and that's okay because they are, I am someone's beautiful. Be proud of your flaws for they are beautiful. Build bridges and cover paths so that visitors have access to the incredible creation that you are.